Welcome to Pentrick, which is in deepest Derbyshire, and I reckon there must be close on 20,000 people here on this campsite this weekend for what is without doubt now the number one custom bike show in the UK. It's the Rock and Blues Custom Show. They were amazed by the range of bikes you got here. They're not all custom chops, are they? That's right. No, you get. I mean, you get all sorts of um, bikes from all sorts of walks of life. I mean, we do street fighters, which are like the, your standard Japanese race bikes, slightly customised, I suppose you could say, but not along the stereotype style of a chopper or what you know that sort of a thing. So, can you run through the actual categories for us? I know you've got the old rat bike here, which tends to be a bit of a tradition anyway, doesn't it? That's right, yeah. It can be really good there with the rat bike down on the uh, thing, gets quite comical with that. But of course, we've got other things, you know, we've got the classic, you know, you might see like down there, there's some uh, really nice old triumphs and things like that, yeah. We've, we've got a new category this year, uh, American Hot Rod, which is based on like the Harley Davidson style aftermarket thing, what people build with the SNS engines and that sort of thing. That's a new one for this year. Um, we've got um, Japanese category, we've got um, trike categories, we've got 14 categories altogether. I mean, that's not including the, the uh, best in show, over, you know, overall best in show. And, and, that and I saw somewhere the visitor actually gets a chance to vote as well. That's right, yeah. I mean, we give the chance uh, to the visitors who come here to actually vote what they think deserves a trophy. And we've got a category and a trophy set aside just especially for that. So who actually does all the judging here? I mean, it's not a one-man band, is it? This? It's not really, no. It's quite an odd job to set all this up. Um, basically, the judging is de left down to two of us, myself, like, because of all the hard work I've put into it, and, uh, you know, I do know what I'm talking about. With well, you don't have to make excuses. <laughs> <laughs> and um, basically, we've got a lad from a local Harley-Davidson shop who specialises in customising uh, Harleys, obviously, like, yeah, who helps us out with that. But he's not biased? Not at all, mate, no, not at all, no. Because there'll be, none, there'll be none of his bikes winning this year. Oh, and he knows that, does he? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So engineering-wise, I mean, it's not all top show and paint, is it, on these? They're no. beautifully engineered. So you've got some qualified guys doing this stuff. That's right, yeah. They're, they're, they're really hard to look for, like, you know. I mean, you can see a lot of bikes around. On first glance, they look like the sort of thing you'll buy out of a shop. But close, looking at them closer, you can see that there's all the brackets, everything, yokes. There's a lot of things get made in, you know, the guy's garage at home, yeah. you know. There's a, even down to wheels and hubs and all sorts of things like it's, it is a really really hard one to look for and, and thinking see. of that and people working at home on the banks i mean where do you get your, your your audience from do they come from far afield yeah they do we've actually got some guys here today from canada yeah so i mean going back to the categories there is a furthest traveled category so i think they're probably going to be up for that one yeah you're telling me they've come on a bike that's right yeah, yeah. that's right they've been riding around for a month now in england yeah. and uh, they're definitely you know they've, they've sent the bikes over obviously they don't ride over the water, the bikes have come on the boat, like, but <laughs> I they've, understand they've done some serious mileage, like, you know, to get here, so. Look, this Rock and Blues show, it, it's famous, but it's been a bit of a sort of a, a cult thing, you know, it's the biker lifestyle thing, but I mean, how many years has it been going now? This is the 16th year now we've had this, obviously it's not always been this big, you know, back in the old uh, de days of, it was just a small day daytime party for just a smaller group of bikers, uh -huh. and it's just grown and grown to what you see here today. Now, judging these fantastic machines is a job in itself, and Jamie Millership has the thankless task of uh, being a judge. Yeah. Jamie, this you're particularly proud of this thing, aren't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. This, I mean, it looks fantastic. Here, I, I presume we've got an example of paintwork, engineering, bright work, everything. Mm. It's stunning. But yeah. talking about the engineering, what, what are you particularly proud of on this? Carburetors mainly. Do they, where you, man, you can only get the one manifold to come out the one side. Right. They've made his own manifold to come out the other side. So you've got like four carbs in all. Yeah. So you've had to engineer what another manifold? Another manifold, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a, a job in itself. And, and what else? I mean, I mean, it's beautiful. It's chrome. The bright work is stunning. But, but what about that? The wheels, for example. Where, where have they come from? They're performance machine wheels in America. Yeah. They're straight from there. Yeah. Right. Oh, you built <coughs> this what for a customer? Yeah. Right. And did you build it to, to his spec? Did he know what he wanted, or did he leave it to you? He knew roughly where he wanted. Then we dry built it to a standard. Right. Then invited him up to have a look at it, yeah. and we took it from there. 
and I bet he liked it when he saw that. So, yeah. so how long's that took? Project like that? Just took about a year. Yeah. 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 And you can't put a price on it, I presume. No, it's hard to put a price. Yeah. Yeah. In man hours alone, it must be astronomical. What about the paintwork? What's it? It's got a name. This bike. What's it called? Uh, Curly's Joker. Curly's Joker. Curly's the lad who owns it, isn't yeah. it? Right. Right. So, has he designed? Does he come to you with sketches and things? And the paintwork was designed by the painters on his own. Right. Yeah. He knew what he wanted. He knew he wanted a Joker on the tank. Yeah. And then the painter just took it from there. Right, fantastic. So you've built this and you're a judge. That could have some influence, some bearing on the result, could it not? No, no, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> say nothing about that. Right, it's fantastic, it's stunning, but it's only one of many, so, yeah. uh, so we're we'll, we'll going to have a look at some more. Yeah. One of the categories is best chopper. Now, a chopper to many people is just long forks and big handlebars. A lot more to it than that. And this this one caught your eye, Jamie. Before I saw you looking at it, what's particularly impressive about this? This is clean lines, really, and everything. I've just got all these cables going through the handlebars. These guys' lights right going through the frame. Well, you, you were looking at the frame. Mm. You think that's a one-off made frame, do you? Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, I know you spent a lot of time looking at these here yeah. because that, when you first look, you don't notice that, but that's very neat. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the yeah. throttle must go. Oh, it's internal, yeah. Down there. The handlebars, yeah. And then just pops out there. Yeah. I'd say what I noticed, the headlight. I was looking for some switches on the handlebars. I haven't got any switches anywhere. But no. if you look at the back of the light, that wire there, that goes straight in the frame. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat, that is, yeah. So this is, is, is in, obviously in with a good shot. One of the best mm. shops here. Yeah, most yeah. definitely, yeah. Right. Well, you might have seen this bike before, but now the owner's turned up. Well, you've been loitering, haven't you, Paul? Loitering with intent, yes. <laughs> but tell us a bit, th this bike to me is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's just full of bits and pieces to talk about. And so starting with the carburetors, I mean, I haven't seen these before. Where do you get these from? Uh, I bought them from Daytona in America. Um, new kind of carburetor that come out, just took my fancy. So I uh, decided to go the whole log and have one each side. <laughs> or two each side. Exactly, they, yeah. they come as a pair, then? Uh, it will come as a side draft with yeah. the uh, manifold, but yeah. uh, we fabricated the manifold to suit coming out both sides. Yeah. Nitrous oxide as well? Nitrous oxide as well, yeah. Plenty yeah. of punch. Yeah. And how big is this motor? Because it's not a Harley motor, it's an S, is it? It's an S&S &S engine, yeah. Um, it's 98 cubic inch motor. Works well, out. What's that in English? <laughs> works out well, that is like, English, isn't it? <laughs> well, it works out something like 1800 cc. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's very powerful, yeah. And what about the frame special on this as well, isn't it? The frame is uh, unique, really. Um, it's actually pivots on the back there. Uh, the mud guard goes up with the suspension. Everything moves on the back end. It's very slightly. 
It's, bit, it's more of a hard tile, like, but there is a bit of spring there. Yeah. And the whole finish of it is absolutely amazing, particularly this this paint job. Just where do you get the inspiration for this? Oh, there was a chap in uh, Chesterfield called Percy. Yeah. Um, fantastic painter. I'll never, it's incredible the paintwork he's done on it. You know, I've, I've never seen nothing like it. But it, was it your idea, the Joker theme? Or? Uh, Joker theme was my idea, yeah. Um, I allowed the painter just to uh, go with the flow kind of thing, you know. Um, and as you can see, he's done an incredible job. Yeah, that, that chequered flag on the front in particular is brilliant. Was that Daytona inspiration? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, all, um, it's all going in with a the theme. You know, it follows through from the front right to the back. And tell me, this Daytona thing, you've been more than once, I understand. Uh, yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> Go on. It's um, a bit of a drug to me, really. I mean, you go over there, you can see, uh, you can get get your parts cheaper. You pay for your old day. Yeah. Uh, nice girls, good weather. <laughs> what is it, seven times you were saying? Now, seven you? times, yeah. yeah. Seven times I've been there. And have you thought of taking this over? Uh, yeah, we're hoping to take it over uh, for the 100th anniversary, so that should be a big event. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure you should pick up some awards on this. And Hopefully, yeah. Can I ask you, because it just reeks of money, this does, how much? Um, Don't be shy. Disclose. I'd rather not say it depresses me. <laughs>